Yo, what's happening, my Thunder Donkeys? It's SJB today, and I've got a really wonky strategy. I honestly have... I don't think it's gonna work. I honestly don't think it's gonna work, unless we play, like, so superb that life will just... will, will, will be awesome. Uh, we're gonna go Heli Pallet. We're gonna have to use Heli Pallets as our main group popping power, which is probably, like, the worst idea ever. But we have to try. Until we get Churchill, this is our popping power right here. A heli pallet. Good thing is, he's good against pinks and whites, or at least decently good against pinks and whites, so we can make that happen. And I will be able to alchemize them. Now, this is not necessarily a crazy strategy, because we're using heli pallet alchemist. That's you know, I, uh, unusual, but not ridiculous. Oh, look at that, we got first blood too. It's going to robots. Sweet! Alright, quad darts, there it is. I'm gonna go for the... What do I want this guy to be? He's probably going to end up being a middle pad. Oh, he's probably going to be a top pad. So let's go faster darts and faster firing. Get that going in here so we can kind of just start here. I'm going to try to put him on the uh, edge here and see if we can kind of just... I don't want him to really chase the balloons necessarily, but... Uh, fight into the grain instead of against... Fight against the grain instead of into the grain. There we go. Against blues and all that. Actually, not bad, dude. Heli pilot, surprisingly powerful. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, I've only used Telepod a few times, and honestly, I've I've been every time I use him, I'm just like, oh, he's lackluster at best, you know. Like you can polish a turd, but you can only polish it so much. All right, it's it's shiny, it can be beautiful, but it's still gonna smell pretty bad. You definitely don't want to eat it, you know. I think that's that's pretty fair. So, uh, nonetheless, we are. Oh, look at this freaking spot, dude. I just kind of want to lock him, lock him in place right there. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's the best spot ever, but I don't have to buy pursuit. Don't have to micro him at all, and he's just doing a good job. Uh, but Churchill's gonna have to pop out. So, let's pop him into play. Uh, I think I'm gonna put him right here. I think. Uh, it's not beautiful, but it's good. It's not beautiful, but it's good. That's the way I want it to be. Just good. Just good enough. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my April Fool's joke from, uh, technically it was two days ago from when this video was going to pop out. Uh, I had an absolute blast making that video. I was thinking about what I wanted to do, and honestly, I had a couple different ideas. I was thinking about making a video with my friend and bringing back an old character, but if I brought back the old character, I was afraid that I was gonna, um, uh, uh, make people a little more upset and whatnot. It was just kind of like the perfect storm that the update was planning on coming out. People were excited about Geraldo, and I just, I, on, an, on a dime, I decided... This is what we're going to do for April Fools. We're going to make a fake patch notes video. Um, I had the idea uh, a while back. Some people were uh, talking about it. A friend was talking about it. And I was like, yeah, it, it just works. It just freaking works, man. It's a decent, cool, and fun idea. And you guys fell for it. Hardcore. Not everybody, of course. Not everybody. But it was just just weird enough. Where if you weren't looking at... Oh, look at this guy losing a crap total life. Holy crap, 30! Woo! Woo! 20 died. All right. That was more than he probably wanted to lose. Four she has net. Or she is dead. Also, you know, I've never elked Churchill, but honestly, I think he's probably doing pretty good. You know, um... Do I boost these yellow blues? Okay, he's got that guy going, but... Okay, he's good, he's good. Yeah, he's got his... Fi he's finally wrathing it. So he's good, he's good. How are we doing over here against these blooms, though? Honestly, Churchill's taking down all the group blooms. That's exactly what I want. Holy Pilot cleans up, which is kind of unusual, but honestly, it's working. But the way that I did it is, uh, I, I think, I gotta call it, man, I think it was pretty flawless. Alright, I could've gone crazier, crazier, and crazier, and crazier, but I started off with some pretty crazy changes already, just to see who would fall for things. Um, changing the Super Pokey Fan Club from 10 to 100 already was like, whoa, that's a big change for Ninja Kiwi. And then changing cannons to camera detection, that was early on as well. <laughs> People said they, they finally realized that it wasn't real when I talked about the Mads damage change from 200 to 7. That's what I got, everybody. So I'm living in the past, but honestly, I had fun making that video, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my, my April Fool's joke. Even if for some people, it wasn't necessarily April Fool's anymore. I apologize for that. Um, it did pop out a little bit late because I was uh, uh, actually super-duper busy this weekend. I've got a lot going on, guys. Um, I have not... I don't think I've talked to you guys about this yet. I, I don't think... Churchill should pop these. Still going yellows here. Um, we do need to get a good amount of pop power here, though, and my camp protection is kind of bad right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to get... Oh, I have no camp protection right now. All right. This is what we need. One, two. Uh, I'm going to go all the way to down draft here. We're going to throw them in the corner. Don't want to start losing all these lives here, man. Uh, we're going to get down draft. We're going to get the uh, quad darts and uh, pursuit. I'm going to let him go to town here. And then I'm going to try to elk 
one of these guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. A downdraft, probably. Or Churchill. He doesn't have cam protection yet. Oh, crap. Oh, okay, he's going he's gonna to rush me. Uh-oh, I got the wrong upgrade. I got the wrong upgrade. Churchill, go! Take him down, baby! Take him down! Sure. We do. We take down that first rush, but we don't know if a full-out, all-out rush is going to come out after that. But now we have officially an elked-out uh, Heli Pallet here. We're going to go for another elked-out Churchill here. Uh, if we can, and he's still rushing with green, so we're looking like we will survive here. Good news for us. Beautiful. All right, as far as rushing goes, he's got Druid Ice. He's going meta, so yeah, he can suck my big, fat, juicy balls over here. That's what I think about your face right there, man. Suck on That's all I care about. Family friendly. That's what they always say. Keep family friendly, Chris. You know, I'm, we're talking about big, salty chocolate balls. Everybody knows that. You know, in case you're curious, just, you know. Chocolate. White chocolate, if we want to. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So there is some definite lag in here, which makes me believe that I want to send out, believe it or not, uh, either pinks or possibly whites, maybe, to make sure that I'm sending out as many blues as I possibly can. But I hate when this happens, dude, because it does affect our income. You can see the pinks are not fluidly coming out, and the game is trying, no matter what, to be like, hey, we will have the time go normal, but maybe your blues can't come out the way they should. Which kind of sucks, to be completely honest. Kind of sucks. Nonetheless, this is getting our income pretty darn high up here, even though it's not the most efficient way to do it. Usually you want to send out pinks more around uh, about 1,800 to 2,000 incomes when you start sending out pinks and whatnot. This guy's going druids as well, which is kind of working out for him, isn't it? That I have to send out balloon income and it sucks, and he's able to just randomly press abilities every once in a while and get mad at mad income. Suck them. Jerry. Jerry. Come on. Bro, I know, a little anger today, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I should be happy. But I'm not. That's freaking Jerry over here. One, two, three, two, three, one, three, one, three, one. Yeah. Get out of here, Jerry. You're trying to confuse me with your mirrored no, unmirrored numbers here. Garbage. Garbage, Jerry. And that's why we're gonna smoke you hard. Or at least we're gonna try. So one thing I should mention here is I don't have that many fifth tiers as far as these guys are concerned. But I wanted to try a different strategy. I wanted to try to go for an alchemist that is somewhat unusual. This was the part of the strategy that I thought was going to confuse people quite a bit. I wanted to go for not only an unstable concoction, but I was thinking about a transformation tonic, if not multiple transformation tonics. Think about it, boys. A really quick ability that can defend, hopefully, hurt and or insta-kill BFPs and tons of blooms inside. Heck yeah. Now, sadly, this is not the 5th tier ability, but just even having the 4th tier is going to be very, very helpful here. Now, on Stable Concoction, the way this guy is going to work is kind of goofy. Uh, it's supposed to hurt Moabs a little extra, but really only hurts Moabs if there's a lot of Moabs on top of each other, and that's difficult to make happen, because most people don't rush with group Moabs, um, or even necessarily group PFEs, or necessarily group Oh My Gods. It's usually kind of a spaced little section in between all of that stuff. So getting that to actually happen is going to be a little difficult, but we can see it in action here, hopefully. Unstable can boom. Can boom. And what I like to do is I usually get the larger potions, but you could go either way, I guess. Uh, and there we go. He's sending out the BFP against me. I'm going to try to go full income against him, and I'm going to try to get... Oh, I don't have that even unlocked yet? What? All right. Well, looks like we got to go for a different strategy. I wasn't anticipating this, but all right. We'll make this happen. No problem. No problem. We're going to go for a combo shove. Slow these guys down. Keep them on the screen for a little bit. I've got spike factories. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to throw it in a spike factory here and just get some sort of, um, I don't know, uh, if I can, I'm going to try to go for, like, a Moab Shredder and uh, an ability here. But we got to be careful because the mobs are already out of the, on the screen here. Hopefully our downdraft is actually going to come to play. Come on, downdraft. Do your job, buddy. Do your job. Downdraft this crap. Downdraft that crap. Come on, get those ceramics back to the school. It's back to the wall. 48 lives. Oh, my God. Dangerous. Oh, but we survived. <laughs> it's all because I didn't have the fourth tier. All right. Well, got to change our strategy again. First of all, still trying to get a good income, but even going full pink since like round 12 or 13 or whatever, I still only have 3,000 income right now, which is pretty low overall. As far as his defense is concerned, he doesn't truly have a direct weakness. A single reinforce, oh my god, can be pretty dangerous. Especially right before DDTs. But oh, snap, dude. He's going to go. Whoa. Whoa. Shmoji. Blah, 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 dude. All right. That's kind of interesting. All right. We're going to go for a quick one of these. Right now, our weakness is definitely blues. 
So let's get something that can pop some balloons. I believe that I have the Apache Dart chip unlocked here, so let's see if we can save up for this guy real quick. Um, I'm sure she'll kind of go to town here. If I gotta sell something to make it happen, I will. Especially this unstable concoction. Yeah, let's just sell this unstable concoction since that's not what I wanted. And we're gonna get the Apache Dart chip here. And we're gonna make him shoot real freaking fast. Doesn't have cam protection right now, but that's okay. Um, Spike Factor is gonna be most of my uh, DD pop power and such. Anyways, I've got a decent amount of things to rush with that I, if I want to. Uh, so let's try a quick reinforce on my god and then think about possible. Maybe. DDTs. Maybe. But I, I think he's gonna defend. Just to be sure with you guys. I think he will defend this. So it might be a little bit on the risky side. Uh. Yeah, it might be a little on the risky side here. But we're gonna try it anyways. Uh, Churchill can defend one DDT. And then this guy can defend a couple ish DDTs. As long as they have game detection kind of in other ways over here. So here's the reinforce on god. Let's see what he does. Um, the, the, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm making a lot of weird noises today, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make this many weird noises, looks like you can defend it with the ice cone pail, no problem, a little setting, actually, uh, oh, he's just gonna first strike it, maybe, maybe not, oh, first first strike, all right, well, for some reason, I never anticipate first strikes, I don't know what it is about me. I can see the nuclear sub, and I can understand that he has submarines, but my mind never goes to, he's gonna first break it. It just always goes to, oh, I might be able to kill him because Rubik's kind of suck at you, so my gods. But he's got mad money, man. He really does. I mean, this is if this becomes late game, this is gonna be a tough, tough play for us, for sure. And look at that, he's screwing me over with his income, man. I think he's lagging out, it's not me. So he's screwing me over, Jerry. All righty, okay. Um, all right. Well, I guess I could go support Chinooks. You know, that's not against the rules here. We go for a little bit of support Chinook uh, money action. But I can't spam them that good on this map. That's for sure. There's not that many places where heli pilots fit. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this garbage. Look at this, look at this garbage. And I have to have other heli pilots in here, too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Give me some crates. Give me some delicious money. Go for another support Chinook. But then, honestly, my defense sucks. <laughs> just, just be honest here. It's just bad. All right, we're going to try for one regular bad here on round 30. See what happens. It's going to hurt my income pretty hard again. But I think he's going to struggle. Look, unless he first strikes the crap out of it, he has a crap ton of money that I don't understand how he's, he's got it. He probably will struggle a little bit against those guys. DDTs are tricky because this Ice Cold Impale right here can pop camo balloons. And that makes it so DDTs are just uh, very, very difficult to go for. Um, All right, let's try. Let's try not a reinforced bad. We're just gonna set it a regular bad and see what he does. Uh, but I'm gonna do with my extra money here. Boop, boop, boop. Get some of this action. Swap that up. I'm getting my lives back. Uh, I want to try to uh, get a couple spikes. I think. I think that's my best play. I hope. All right. So we sold something. He's uh, gonna. Oh, we sold the Energizer actually. To rebuy the Energizer for our nuclear sub, at the very least. And uh, he's trying to do the defense, obviously. Not very many first strikes have popped out yet. But he's doing an okay job defending so far. Don't forget, he's still got to pop two DDTs and such. And there we go. First strike is going to pop out. There is multiple DDTs on the screen here. Ice Cold Pale is going to slow them down and eventually pop them. And these, oh my god, should die as well. So it looks like, obviously, one bad's not going to do anything. Now, though, it's going to be tricky because the amount of money he's making means that he can defend even more than what I just sent out. Two, maybe even three. Reinforced pads could be difficult for him to defend, though. Um, and don't underestimate some of my gods, man. I mean, these things are pretty beef beef-tastic, too. Just going to have to watch out because our weakness is most definitely big chunks of DDTs. Um, even if I get the carpet of spikes, I don't know if I can defend big chunks of DDTs, man. Honestly, don't know. Uh, it's, it'll be difficult, to say the least. I don't have that many options for myself. I can go for some of these guys real quick just to give myself a little bit of extra buffs. But other than that, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Look at these Moabs, by the way. Woo! They getting cheesy up in here, man. Regular Moabs are almost killing me. All right, looks like we got to sadly just do it. We just got to rush, bro. Just got to rush. Uh, two reinforced bats. The counter... Oh. Oh, the pro uh, oh dude. I think, he's, I think he's got me. I think he's got me. My back's up against a barrel here. All right. Two reinforced bats. There it is. 
Mm, nope. Uh, oh, he's going to rush me at the exact same time. All right, we're going to not, not pop ours at all, obviously. Not going to pop ours at all. He's going to chill on the screen here. Um, and then we're going to think about uh, what I'm going to do is going to get rid of this guy. Uh, no. No, I'm going to get rid of uh, this guy. And we're going to buy that Carpet of Spikes. Because you know what? I have a feeling he's going to try to DDT rush me. He's trying to pop him. Let's balloon boost this crap. Give me my money. Give me my money. I'm going to start selling. Get ready for my all-out reinforced DDT rush. See if maybe we can sneak these puppies through. But he is going for the D. Going for the D. All right, let's get rid of the support chinook. We don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. We got $40,000 ready to... Oh, crap. Ready to... Oh, crap. He's balloon boosting his. Oh, I might have been premature, man. I might have been premature here. Uh-oh. A little premature on my side. A little premature. Another balloon boost popping out. Oh, crap. He's rushing me. Here we go. Spike Storm does take down those. No! I popped the bad. Oh, 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 brutal. Brutal. I popped the bad by trying to pop the DDTs. I was just a little too powerful. Sadly, I was too powerful for my own good. Good game, good sir. Okay, so last game did not exactly go our way. But in my defense, I really feel screwed over by the income. Uh, I was not quick enough on my feet to realize that I could have gone to more support Chinooks than I currently did. But it doesn't excuse uh, the gameplay entirely. You know, um, there was other options, and it was a very, very close game. Don't forget about that, man. It was twite. Very twite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my helipal right here for a quick second. I'm going to move him over here and start cleaning these guys up. Um, I can throw down an, a, a low level. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We don't want them to uh, hurt too bad. The quad darts is up. Honestly, I'm a little... F I don't know where to put this guy. Do I put him right here? Just lock him in place, man. Just let him uh, aim both ways if he wants to. It's reasonable. All right, let's set out a couple of green... Oh, he's got a wall fire already. Holy crap. Good for him, man. Good for him. So it looks like this is going to be a, a much more normalized game. He's got wizards and boomerangs, which are both very fun towers to fight against. Instead of druid ice, which is... Uh, it is the meta. I'll, g I'll give you that. So... One of the metas right now, for sure. Um, probably the best strategy overall, I would say, if I had to really say something. There we go. We're going to go for a Spike Factory combo. And the reason why this works really, really well is this guy does a lot of cleanup. We are noticing this guy's going Space Bloons. So we want more cleanup rather than group popping power. And that's where this Spike Factory comes into play, like, perfectly. But in addition, I do have to go for a pretty quick Churchill here to kind of get his leveling up and all that stuff. And try to get him up to cam detection pretty quickly. Because I'm realizing that is one of my big weaknesses right now, is my lack of cam detection. All right, so it looks like, surprisingly, Helipal is actually doing great against these balloons here. Um, it looks like the bones are not actually that problematic for us. Which is pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Pinks are coming out now. But uh, one balloon boost down, man. Let him balloon boost up the Wazizzle. Spike Factor is cleaning up, boys. It's cleaning up. Churchill's going to pop out here any second now. Switch to pinks for a quick second here. We're going to get Churchill. But honestly, Churchill on this map, I'll put him here. But I don't know if this is the best spot. I'll admit I'm not that experienced with Churchill on this map. He's chasing, though. That's a problem. All right, we got to get rid of this obstacle. I thought about it. I want him to fight mostly this way, and then if he needs to, clean up this way a little bit as well. But if he is chasing, still mildly on a straight line. Still not perfect, though. And nobody wants, wants to chase, right? It's just like, if it has to happen, that's the way it's going to go down. All right, Churchill's doing great, though. He's defending all these root balloons exactly as anticipated. I'm going to switch into a little bit of green action up in here. Try to get my income very, very high, man. I love it high. Love it big. Love it deep. Love it delicious. And I think what we got to do is we got to get the fast firing. Fast starts, fast firing. That pressure pop power quite a bit. Uh, still trying to max out my greens here. I'm going to just stay with greens instead of switching to the yellows like I normally would because I spent most of my money on defense, sadly. We're, like, barely hanging on here, man. Do we just want to boost this to, like, get started in here, or do we pop down an elk or what? Oh, he's going to boost. We're going to boost it back. All right, dude. We're going to boost it back. I'm going to do this. Check this out. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put him on follow mouse here. We're going to let him kind of uh, do a, a little bit of a weird play here. Um, we're going to let Churchill do a little more cleanup now. Trying to pop the black layer a little bit quicker here. And hopefully this works out. Spike Factory is starting to finally get a big pile flowing for us. And there we go. This seems to be the place. So let's let's lock him in place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lock him in place right. No, lock. No. Lock in place right freaking there, man. Right there. All right, so looks like we're just going greens all day, which is something I don't think I've ever done ever. I think I've ever done that before. It's kind of goofy, but... 
why not? So, uh, for this guy, you know, last time around, um, I did not regret this, but it does mean you have to go for another heli pallet as well. It means we're gonna have to go for at least a cam detecting heli pallet. But if not, all the way up to a freaking uh, uh, downdraft, you know? It's just a second quad darts. He's gonna throw some uh, leads against me here. I'm gonna put Churchill on strong for a quick second here so we pop that bl uh, lead layer. And then I'm gonna throw down a, a decent amount of spike factory action. Thinking about a spike ball factory, man. So let's see if he's gonna rush me with camos or anything like that. If he all outs me, could be a little dangerous. Most people don't. And we got machine gun action here. Churchill will have camp protection in uh, either $2,800 or probably on the next round. Spike balls are up. All right, let's try to continue to go a little bit of income in here. Uh, he doesn't look like he wants to rush me. He's going for a lot of whites and all that stuff. So, hey, keep it going. Keep it flowing. As far as his defense is concerned, there's really not much I can do. Not much I can do. Not nothing I can do. Just, it would have to be a pretty, pretty gigantically huge mungus rush to make this worthwhile. All right, so yeah, this is getting pretty overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, just regular balloons are kind of wild for us. He might consider a possible rainbow rush or a zebra rush or something like that. Just solid balloons all the way through. He could. He could. He might. Spikeball Factory is having to pop balloons now. All right, let's use Churchill's ability here, see if we can catch up. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. All right, we need to get a, we need to get a Razor Rotors. I think that's the answer here. We're going to get a Razor Rotors. I'm going to move him off of Pursuit. We're putting him back on follow mouse and uh, lock him in place right here. Here we go. Lock him in place. There we go. That should be good. Why don't they lock in place where I want him to go, man? I want him to go right here. Goodness gracious. Alley pallets are rough, dude. All right, let's get this guy up to pursuit as well so we can actually freaking fly around and do crap. I've only got 1,200 income, though. This is garbage. This is, like, horrific, actually. One thing we got going for us is a Moab might actually be a little tricky for us. All right, I know these guys are okay, and I know this guy's okay, and I know this guy can be pretty good, but two Moabs might actually be problematic. We're going to try it out. It's only two grand. We'll see where we're at with these guys. Let's see where we're at. Oh, he does get it. Oh, crap. All right. Hits it up. I'm actually a little surprised by that. Looks like it's going to pop. <sighs> Easy, buddy boost. Oh, buddy boost. All right, he's popping down a mortar as well, which is actually a little weird. We got three grand already. We're going to go for a double reinforced balloon boosted rush this time. And this could be deadly enough. This could be deadly enough. One and two. Do we go for a third? Do I dare? Let's balloon boost this right away. Get him past that boomerang, man. Get him past that boomerang. And he's got nothing left. Here's a third. Not going to go for any balloons, though. We're just going to switch back to income. If this fails, it's okay. It's not the end of the world or anything like that. But look at these balloons. Go, baby, go. And Patty Sauce gets taken down by a beautiful, unbelievable... Reinforced mob rush. That necromancer popped the mob layer, but he could not even hit those balloons at all. And game number two goes to us. Noise. So honestly, this strategy is all right, but I didn't use the alchemist this game. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I thought I was gonna have like a much better time with this thing, but it's okay at best. That's how I can explain. It. It's okay at best. Nonetheless, if you guys enjoyed this kind of weird and crazy, fun, interesting combo, press that like button for me. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.